OK. Well, if I've got to be honest, I mean, am I really the man for the job? Yeah, well, the last time I wore a suit, I mean, yeah, I did look amazing. I definitely looked better than the other boys. I just can't do it to them, man. The world's not ready for it. Yes, you heard it. PAQ, High End Boys. I do it an episode with none other than Ralph. Ralph Lauren. Matty! This is our first episode with a luxury fashion house, and it's only the bloody big dog. So Ralph has given me a call, and he's given me a mission. For this episode, we're making fashion films. Three, two, one, and action. So each of us have been given a lovely slice of this Ralph Lauren pizza. Four fashion films of the four different styles. We are exploring all different worlds of Ralph Lauren. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Yeah. PAQ X Ralph Lauren is going to be a matting. So as you can see, we are in a very beautiful atmosphere right now. And that's because Ralph Lauren has allowed us to use their flagship store that's on New Bond Street. Yeah, man, Ralph Lauren was sick. Like, I remember when I had a job in the art gallery, first thing I went to go buy, I bought these beaters that you see here. I was actually in a group inspired by Ralph. It was called Polo Boys. Back in school, when not many people were into fashion, I had two Ralph Lauren polos, and I never realised they were women's till now I look back and they actually had quite a bust on them. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph Lauren's clothes are inspired by Americana and all things America, of course. But here, we are in Britain. We are British. So I guess it's time for us to put our spin on the brand, but in our own very British way. So you man, we've got a lot of work to do. We have to go hard for this one. PAQ presents Ralphie Boys. So I'm going to be exploring the rugged side of Ralph Lauren. You know, influenced by Midwestern culture. I definitely love the Americano aesthetic. It's Americano, not Americano. Americano is a coffee. So I'm out here with David. He's going to show me some serious, serious survival skills. Nice to meet you, sir. And you, sir. So what are we going to be doing today, then? We're going to start off with some fire lighting. Then we're going to go on to some bushcraft knife skills, maybe a bit of shelter building, perhaps a bit of knife throwing, a bit of foraging, maybe a bit of cooking at the end. Cheers. Cooking. When you take an urban boy out of the city, man's on road in the woods. I got given the polo category. Yes, me, polo sport, matting. That's the one I wanted. That's what I care about, to be honest with you. So I'm going to be linking up with a Ralphie collector, Ben. Yo, Ben. That's good, man. Thank you so much for coming through. He's going to give me some insight to the Ralph culture, ready to smash this film. Yeah, so Ralph Lauren, a lot of his inspiration is like aspirational clothing. You know, he was actually a guy who was raised by Jewish immigrants in the Bronx. Polo have been doing it from day dot, the originators, you know what I'm saying? Polo sport for me is like, I instantly think of like vintage. I think of like yeah. old school. Obviously growing up, he was big into baseball, basketball, all kinds of sports. And so that influence is shown throughout his collections. Ralph wants to dress as the man that he, he wants to be. Oh, I oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. How are you today? Funny thing about challenges sometimes is obviously you have to work, but me, I rather work smart than hard. Part of understanding luxury is living it. I've been assigned the job role to wear Ralph Lauren suits. My fashion film is based around when you wear that one suit, the world revolves around you. So I'm going to be meeting a friend. Hi, I'm Theo van den Bruker, and I'm the style and grooming director of British GQ. Hey, man. Hello. Uh, made yourself at home. Yeah. And I'm here today to teach Dex about the wonderful world of tailoring. I'm going for more of the luxury side of things, so I wanted to speak to an expert. So from my perspective, I think the world of suiting is really changing. There's been the shift. Tailoring's kind of back, and it's great, and it can be worn in a really new, dynamic way. Everyone looks good in a suit. Material feels nice as well. Yeah, it's quite cool. It's I do quite, feel like it's very Danny, though. 
OK. So obviously, I have a lot of Ralph Lauren in my wardrobe. But today, for you guys, I myself have been given prep. Am I happy about that? Yes. So my story is basically about a, a bad boy coming home, me and his girlfriend's parents for the first time. Oh, hello. Hello. And basically shaking things up. Hi, I'm Jessia. I'm one of Danny's mates. And the shot is beautiful in here. Basically, I am your boyfriend. You wish. And essentially, the dad's going to hate me. The brother is going to be uh, hating me because of the dad. The mum, she's going to be a bit of a soft spot for me. And obviously, the girlfriend loves me as well. The relationship has escalated quite fast. So my job for today is making sure me and my girlfriend are dressed impeccably. Right, onwards with a fit. David, starting a fire, what do we need to do? Right, well, there's lots of different ways we can start them. One of the old traditional ways is the old flint and steel. Strike the two together, you get sparks. Just being able to look at how to start fires, I feel like that could be a good thing to put in the film as well. It can make it really cinematic. It's the modern version, nice hot sparks. You see, they're much whiter. Yeah. Such a cool skill to have, man. I really admire that. I feel like my character should be 100% confident. He should know exactly what he's doing. What we can use to cheat a bit, we can use Vaseline as well. Really? I mean, Rav Lauren is an absolute genius. I think to be able to intercept so many different like genres and subcultures is incredible. Appreciate it. I'm well into that. It's just fire, man. It's so, so sick. Very old warts, very cool. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Ralph's been in it. <laughs> Wondering if, you know, you, you'd let me try some of the pieces on. Yeah, of course, man. What do you think? I think you look amazing in it. It's really, really good. Nice. This is a cosy piece. Obviously, the OG, Ralph, teddy bear. Maybe it needs a little bit taken out. The bum curve. <laughs> it's called the back I off. Right, I, it's... I do feel more assertive. Yeah. I think that's the good thing about wearing a suit. It kind of creates that confidence. All right, Danny, what do you think? I It looks absolutely so incredible. Belly armors. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Feeling myself, can't even lie. Yeah. This is very Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, it is brilliant, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> mm. So today was about me finding confidence and feeling comfortable in a suit. I looked around, I got some inspiration. And I think I've got the suit for me. The name's Black. Dexter. Black. <laughs> so Ben filled me in a bit more on the low life history of Ralphie. Being able to wear stuff and feel better about yourself or feel more confident or feel more vibrant. That's exactly what Ralph Lauren does for so many different types of people. So how often do you think you'd have to do this out in the world? Uh, pretty much never. <laughs> <laughs> so o'clock in the morning, I'm going to be here. Long day ahead, but it's going to be worth it. I can't wait for the final product. Sweet. Right. All right, see you tomorrow. So today is the big day. I was thinking about this last night and I was just like, raw, this is gonna be crazy. We are shooting Ralph Lauren and uh, we don't know where Dex is. We've been here from nine, you know, ready to seize the day, but our director, 45 minutes late. It's 10 past nine. Everybody has been here since half seven. Dex has just left his house. We'll get some more like close up handheld stuff for that as well. Now we just need a camera because it hasn't arrived yet. I literally don't really know what's happening. This is the lake. Yeah, it's close. Oh my God. Who closes a lake, bro? We're going to have to record it in a bathtub, guys. What's up, peeps? I'm an hour late. Still fancy. So today we are filming my part for Alpha Ren. We've arrived in this beautiful mansion in the middle of nowhere, essentially. <laughs> I do like getting makeup done, can't lie. It's funny because I used to paint my nose, but I'd be like, nah, I'd never get my makeup done. Drag episode on PAQ. <laughs> so good. If I was Elias, I'd definitely be playing polo. Is he doing polo? 
The category that I have is Polo Sport, Vintage, Retro, OG. So I have the maddest whip. The DeLorean. And the doors go like this. Yeah. Young Miyagi. <laughs> Right behind me is the Ralphie wardrobe. I'll start off by this beautiful fleece. My friend Daniel is going to be wearing. This is Daniel. You've definitely seen him before. The premise of my film is I'm wearing my dad's OG Ralph jacket. He does a madness, slips up, rips my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, honestly, I can't do it, man. Daniel, it's so hard. To... And then I'm like, oh my god. But that doesn't even know I have it. I definitely don't want to get hit by the slip bar. Nah, you actually. Hollywood, here I come. Shoe day, Ralph Lauren. We're out here in the wilderness. Came through dripping with the Ralph Lauren leather, and then obviously I had to bless it with the denim shirt with the small pony, you know what I mean? And then, of course, with the two-tone boots. You heard of interracial, where well, this is intermaterial. So I'm about to head next door to put my suit on. I am in a Ralph Lauren rugby shirt. I'm in an Oxford shirt underneath that. Then I'm in some white trousers, which have been a nightmare to steam. And then I shall have my loafers on before I go outside. So you're gonna meet some of the crew behind the scenes and we're gonna discuss the equipment that they're using. Some of it is some really high tech stuff, man. So we've just strapped a 360 camera inside the DeLorean. It's pretty wild. Basically today, a lot of it's gonna be shot on this movie. It's all about revolving. We haven't wreckied this location, so we're making it up a little bit as we go, but it's kind of beautiful. We just make like the birds and wing it. I like that. <laughs> I'm not going to spud you because I know you're going to... I wasn't. <laughs> I All right. What songs are you guys going to play? And action. The world revolves around you when you're wearing a suit. And I guess when I dance and I'm wearing a suit, it's madness. Yee! There you go, Dex. Give it some oomph. Three, two, one, action. This is the first scene. This is one where I turn up at the door. And cut. Yeah, the knocking. It was nerve wracking. It was tense. But I think someone inside definitely knows that we're waiting at the door now. <laughs> So the concept is, obviously Jess comes from a lovely family in a lovely home. I come as a wild yob. Go, go! And three, two, one, action! Is that Instagram account? Boyfriend's on Instagram. Give us your sexy look. I don't have one. Yes, Dex. It looks so sick, you know. Just be like a little bit aware of the camera. So like when you see the camera go down to your feet, that's when you give it a little pirouette, you know what I'm saying? I'm really excited. I want this to be something different. You go up and as you come down. And I'm going to be able to look at this and be like, man, I'm just like that guy. Ralphie, baby. For the rugged man. And then back out. Dex, look at the camera and cut. So, a DeLorean pulls up, my man Dr. Lowe is like, yo! Doc Lowe, the Lowe is for polo. <laughs> and action. So where are we going? What do you mean, where are we going? We're going back in time. <laughs> Go back in time, get the jacket off of my dad. Hey, yo, cute, bang a photo, fam. And come back to the future. Go! Hi, I'm Naomi, I'm running the shoot today. We've basically just done the scene where they go back in time. So we've blacked out the car and the boys are like screaming. Sick, Doc Lowe, that was hard. The DeLorean was the star of the show though, can't even lie, sorry Dr. Lowe. Every man wanted a picture. I didn't actually think I'd ever see a DeLorean like in person, so yeah, that's probably the highlight of the day. I'll go over here, yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting changed in my bedroom. Danny's come up from downstairs. I have no idea what else is happening. A sexy scene? Is it a sexy scene? I don't think it's like sexy. Provocative. I'm in two tops and I'm supposed to rip them off. It's very soft car. Feeling a bit, a bit warm. I've got to get a drink. Tell me I don't look good in this. Oh, mad Hollywood.
location did you guys pick, bro? Right now, we're going to be doing the tailoring scene. Taylor's coming through, making me look suave and bossy. Nice. The next scene I'm doing is the chest scene, and then I've got the speech. So this is the room which we'll be shooting the dinner scene in. What's for dinner? It's um, spaghetti bolognese. Oh. Danny's having some prawns on his request. I'm not sure why. This family's going to see some changes. <laughs> So I get changed and I wear this jacket. Tell me this isn't one of the flyest jackets you've seen. Oh. So I've been shooting some of the car scenes where I open the door and I'm back in time and I clock my dad. Dad? Yo, that jacket's hard, my guy. It's completely spinning me out. <laughs> I like the idea of, of a rugged person, man, because it's kind of like, you know, no matter what situation you put them in, they always feel at home, they're never uncomfortable. It's like this unspoken bravery and presence without having to say too much. Well, this is just bare majestic, isn't it? The Ralphie suit makes me feel like I'm an absolute boss, including being a world leader. Dexter Black's plan for world peace. You ready? Just stop, man. And action, action, action. Do you know what? There's moments of today I have absolutely loved and had so much faith in. And there's certain moments when I'm like, does this line up? No, all I'm saying is, well, you I saying? just can't wait for Oscar nominations. Best motion picture. Best supporting actor, you know. Um, Grammy. Trust, that's um, the music, bro. That's the music, bro. So I am feeling incredibly confident with how this is going to turn out. Don't know what the boys are going to be expecting from me, but I doubt it was this. Three, two, one, action. I want to say a massive shout out to Ralph. The suit is beautiful. Yeah, boss. I'll take this one. Cut right there. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, I'm going to ride a horse, come to your crib and kick down your door. There was like three horses here. I have no idea where the other two have literally just up to vanish to. That horse stayed, that horse is a G. The other two are waste men still. So thank you very much, Glenn, for coming down and judging the episode. How have we been? Um, you've been great. <laughs> thank you very much. My name's Glenn. I'm a filmmaker and creative. I have a creative agency called The Rig Out. I make a lot of brand films, content, commercials, music videos. Ralph Lauren is such a strong brand. It's probably the most strongest brand there is in terms of lifestyle and depth and richness. I'm looking forward to seeing how you've interpreted each one of those categories. All right, let's get into it. Danny, your film's up first. Sweet. We thought we'd kind of do a take on meeting your girlfriend's parents for the first time. You came up with that concept? Yeah. And um, you wrote the script? Um. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't go like private school, just posh, like on again, fancy. No, he went a bit cocky 
a bit edgy. He brought that kind of geezer aesthetic, like, with the walk and the whole, like, I don't care, yeah. He's I'm here now. He kind of expressed, like, certain parts of his personality and his traits that I actually love about him anyways. He was the girl you kissed. Oh. It's Soggy, it's Jess. Why well, is her name Soggy? Because uh, we were going to go to the pub and she just didn't dry her hair. And it just kind of stuck. <laughs> that's literally it. <laughs> yeah, that's cute, man. I thought it was going to be a partner at first for that music. <laughs> <laughs> He not only styled himself, but he also styled Jess. So Soggy was in full Ralph Lauren. It was beautiful. Not so sure about when you took your top off. Quite pale, mate, I've got to say. <laughs> Needs grading. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to see the doctor. I got a real feel for the clothes. He represents Ralph Lauren. It had a wit to it. Polo as a brand has got a wit to it as well. Danny, you did good. Thanks, Danny. Dex, you're up next. Let's do it. I used to think that suits were for stiffs till I put this Ralph Lauren number on. Made to measure, hits different, feels different. Yes, boss man, you got me looking A1. Damn, ain't never taking this off. Suit on the first date, sometimes you gotta set the levels from early. Had to show up and show out, had to flex. In this outfit, how could I ever be defeated? This fit is undefeated. Manifest it. And it's in the bag, whatever the motive. When you wear a good suit, the world revolts around you. Yeah, boss, I'll take this one. I used to wear quite a few suits when I was younger, but I had like one suit in particular. I felt like if I had one suit that rotates through scenarios, it would be more engaging and it would be more relatable for the audience. And you still manage to look more and more dapper depending on the scenario as well. I love how you literally went from a first date to a UN press conference and solve world peace. Nice one, mate. Jeez. Uh, Dexter the for Prime Minister. Lord Dex is all grown up. He's all, he's all glowed up. I absolutely loved it, man. I think you absolutely smashed. Oh, the... well, you're spunning me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's guy. You can have anyway. It was more of an advert than a fashion film. Dexter absolutely nailed um, the, the head. Now with the head? Hit the nail on the head, yeah. I love the way it was shot because the camera was like revolving around him. Technically, it was probably the best. The way it moved and flowed. I thought it was a nice sort of story, it made sense. You guided the audience from the start to the end and you go on a journey in this suit. And you know what? Man's a sick dancer. Mighty Dapper, a proud father I am. Thank you, Dex. Elias, let's see your film. Bam, they just released it, but it's got this OG appeal. Mmm, that's sick. Between this and a 92 stadium jacket, I'm looking a polo. I can't lie to you, man. That 92 is fake. Are you mad? How is it fake? I'm telling you, bro. Bro, look at the stitching. What do you mean about the stitching? If you knew anything about polo, young, you know, young. The, space, <laughs> the, the logo, the font, everything. You're crazy, bro. Bro, how is the jacket foofy? Are you dumb? I'm sorry, bro. Look at You don't know about you polo. You've got one snow beach and you think you're fly. <laughs> That's why I got receipts for a man like you, because you're a hater. My dad in 92 on the same block. Yo, Rocky. man really pulled out his family photo, man. Flexing your daddy's jumper and that. <laughs> I hope you're choking that banana, you know. Big man, relax, fam. Why are you so rattled, bro? You know, you're, actually, you're actually pissing me off, bro. How can you say this is fake? Take the photo back, man. <laughs> Bro, uh, are you mad? Did you just clock what you just did? Bro, I'm so sorry, man. You I just ruined my jacket, bro. My dad doesn't even know I have it. <laughs> it's <laughs> it. Oh, I'm sure we can fix what it. What am I going to do? Bro. Yo, fam. Looks like you're in need of a Stadium 92. What? Oh, guy that can help you with that still. 
<laughs> Bro, who's this guy, man? You're not gonna go with him. Let's go! Don't understand. I'm just gonna have to get changed to my next thing because I'm not looking like an idiot. Bro, you're doing a lot right now. Your hairline's doing a lot. Yes, my brother. The Whoa. name's Doc Low. No. Doc Low. As in Polo. Say the whole thing. Don't say nothing at all. <laughs> so where are we going? What do you mean, where are we going? You ain't seen the car? Look at the car. Or you watch movies? We're going back in time. <laughs> hey, buckle up. Say the end up. Yo, Elias, man. What are you doing? No, no, no. Bang a photo, fam. Oh. Damn. Yo, that jacket's hard, my guy. Where you get that? What's that new season? What about trading now? Yeah, yeah, of course, bro. Of course, of course, of course. Hey, yo, this is clean. IQ, take a pick. Ralph Lauren is timeless, doesn't matter whatever era you're in. One of the big references for this film was um, Back to the Future. Obviously, I've messed with the time-space continuum. <laughs> it basically messed with the whole time-space continuum, so now it's, it's all mad confusing, <laughs> isn't it? A lot about it really caught my eye. I thought the story was amazing, the dialogue was, was great. Sh should have done sport. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not even gonna lie. Mad jealousy. Like, damn, that is sick, bro. Sick, bro. Some of you guys may watch it and be like, oh, that's a bit cringe or that's cheesy and this. Uh, you all deserve a slap. Don't understand what you've actually just done, bro. You actually, you, as much as you've gone back in time, you've actually made history right now. Do you know what Jeez, I mean? Like, that's actually what? so what? sick. What? What? So <laughs> sick. <laughs> that is that's a good so line. Sick. Did you see the little customized number players? Yeah. 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 The car, man. Oh. <laughs> The DeLorean, the uh, little touches like the Reg, all that kind of thing, that was great. Yeah. Well, I mean, the acting was on point as <laughs> yeah. well, man. That was really good acting as well. <laughs> no, Elle's been wanting to get into acting. Um, I'll probably hold off on it for a little while. Are you mad? How is it fake? It's not cutting it. <laughs> I think the casting was sick. Doc Glow, man, he was incredible. <laughs> He's best! Absolute G, his name's Julian. I would not have him down as a Julian. <laughs> Big love to the whole team, that day was woo! Thanks, Elias. Let's see your film next, please, Shaq. Cool. Away from the beasts made of steel, embarking upon a new adventure, Mother Nature's son took time to heal. I walk and walk, the sun gazes at me. I am caught up in its embrace, one that I can't get in the city. No matter what happened then, no matter what happens later, enjoy the now, appreciate the creator. We are all enchanted by the jungle made of cement, but I'd rather be cemented elsewhere, where peace reigns and man is content. It's like everything's a jungle, do you know what I'm saying? So in the wilderness you have to survive and in the city you kind of have to survive as well. I like the fact that he was trying to refer to Everywhere's a jungle. He was kind of like that free man in the wilderness doing his thing. At first, when he came out of that little, like, wooden den, I was like, is he a tramp? 
I've never really seen him do rugged. Um, it really suits him. It looked like it was, you know, his second skin. And then the product lent itself well to the location as well. The rugged end of um, Ralph Lauren, it's for the outdoors and the city. It looks like you learnt to appreciate so much more than you're like, whatever I'm going through, I'm going to face now. That's how I perceived it. No, but that's I deep, know. man. I yeah. appreciate that, yeah, for sure. Like, I done Cub Scouts. <laughs> no, I done Cub Scouts yeah, yeah. when I was younger. When he was washing his face in the water, I was like, oh, it could be like a shampoo commercial. It was shot beautifully, not very atmospheric. Beautiful, the way that the light and the mist, you know, was hitting the lens, the lens. I was waiting to get on that pony and ride off into the sunset, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and then at the end, I loved the way it just cut to him being on the street. When you just see him underneath the bridge, He's like, yeah, I'm ready, I'm back. There's no dialogue, but I got what he was trying to say. I think I smashed it. I think he's nailed it. That is the kind of video... Sorry, man, I just fully stroked around. Oh. It's the kind of video that you definitely see playing in a Ralph stall on repeat. All right, lads, I've seen your films. Uh, give me a minute, I'll get back to you. All right, lads, um, I've done a lot of thinking. Oh, it's difficult, man, do you know what I mean? They all had, they, they was all good. I've got to get around to picking the winner, right? And the winner is... I'm gonna go with Elias's. Jeez. It's our 100th episode! Hey! Big love to Ralphie for making this one possible. Comment below who you think should have won this episode. 